Find the Graph is a very useful tool to create graphical abstracts and science figures and infographics. I'm on their homepage, mindthegraph.com, and you can see here they have illustrations for in the area of medical science, biology, microbiology, and 80 plus fields of study. So I'm sure you're going to find something related to your research area in here. Seems like a few people are using it. But as always, we need to have a look at the pricing because that influences our decisions. The free plan can do quite a bit. Four scientific illustrations, one editable creation, and full access to the world's largest gallery of scientifically accurate illustrations. How cool is that? Although the paid plan have got unlimited of everything and you've got the slides and presentations features feature added. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. You can log in with your Google account and this is me on the inside. Let's say we want to create a graphical abstract. And here are a few tabs on the side, a library where you can upload some of your own images, some templates. Now these are very useful. You can use an existing template and modify it with your own text. Or you can download a neutral template and add your own illustrations on here. Let's do this. And here we have our library of illustrations. You can go by category, say human anatomy. And I added the keyword sport. Let's see if we remove that. Lots of different illustrations. Click on it, easy. And you put your illustrations in the right boxes. You can replace the text. You can even add in a few additional shapes if you want. Some more text. These have they've made life much easier. Let's see, and you can even add some tables already created and you just insert your text. Then there's some molecules. So this, is, this is your type of thing. But this is super interesting. So these you can adapt according to your own numbers and your own needs. Look at this, lovely illustrations. I'm going to spider chart, you can add some lines here. Brilliant. And you can change your background color. Afterwards, once you're done, you can have a look at what it looks like when you present it, or you can just download it and insert it in your own PowerPoint, or print it out, upload it online. But this tool, Mind the Graph, is really a useful tool and um, has got a lot of lovely features. So I would definitely go and play around with it. It can make your research life much more exciting. Enjoy. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.